Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my youtube channel Share Knowledge Today I'd like to tell you a great story about Prophet Yunus alaihi salam I hope we can take lesson from this story Here the story Prophet Yunus alaihi salam was sent by Allah to the people of Nineveh in Mosul It's one of the big city in Iraq The people of Nineveh worship idols Therefore, Allah commanded Prophet Yunus to give them warning to worship Allah. Prophet Yunus warned them that Allah would send them punishment if they continue worshipping idols. But the people of Nineveh ignored it. The ancestors also worship idols, but nothing bad happened to them. So they thought, no need for them to change their beliefs. Prophet Yunus continued preaching them to worship Allah, but his effort failed. Finally, Prophet Yunus decided to leave Mosul as he thought the people of Nineveh would never change their beliefs. He tried to find another place where the people would accept him and his teaching. He boarded a ship and left. Suddenly, disaster struck Mosul. The sky changed, became so dark, thunderstorm was everywhere, people were so scared. All people tried hard to save themselves and cried out for help. In such a situation, they remembered Prophet Yunus. They remembered his warning. They thought if they didn't ignore his warning, it wouldn't have happened. They repented. They realized their mistake. They asked God for forgiveness and wished the Prophet Yunus to return. And Allah, the most gracious, and the most merciful forgave them. In the ocean, the ship was suddenly struck by a terrible storm. Prophet Yunus and all the people were scared. Huge waves jumped up high and struck the ship. The ship started losing its balance. In a panic, people took their luggage and threw it all to the sea to regain the balance, but it wasn't enough. Then. Another solution, one passenger must be thrown off the ship. They decided to rule out three to choose one of them to be thrown off. They thought the fairest way is by writing the names on a piece of paper. Then they choose an old man to pick up one name. The first name was taken. But unfortunately, the name of Prophet Yunus was there. All people knew that he was a good man and they didn't want to throw him off the ship. So they decided to give Prophet Yunus another chance. The second paper was taken. But again, the name of Prophet Yunus was there. Again, they didn't want to throw off Prophet Yunus. So they decided to give Prophet Yunus one last chance. And again, his name was taken. So, if a will of Allah, Allah wants Prophet Yunus to be thrown off the ship. The ship and all the people left Prophet Yunus alone in the ocean. After some time, Allah commanded a giant whale to swallow Prophet Yunus salam. The giant whale swallowed Prophet Yunus salam and kept him in its stomach. Prophet Yunus was fainted for a while and after some time he woke up and he didn't know where he was. He felt so scared because it was so dark. He thought it was in the grave. But soon he realized that it was in the stomach of a giant whale. In the stomach of the whale, Prophet Yunus realized his mistake. He left the people of Nineveh in Mosul without asking Allah permission. Prophet Yunus repented, praising Allah, asked him for forgiveness, and said, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu mena zhalimin. Which means, there's no God but Allah, glory be to you, I've been one of the wrongdoers. Angels in the sky heard Prophet Yunus praising Allah, and asked Allah to forgive Prophet Yunus alaihi salam. The angel also asked Allah 
to release Prophet Yunus from the darkness of the stomach of the whale. Allah accepted the dua and commanded the giant whale to cast the Prophet Yunus onto the shore. The giant whale went to the shore and threw Prophet Yunus out of its mouth. After staying for a long time in the stomach of a giant whale, Prophet Yunus felt so hot under the sunlight. So Allah commanded a tree to grow and gave Prophet Yunus a seed and a fruit. After eating some fruit, Prophet Yunus salam, regained his strength and came back to the people of Nineveh in Mosul. Surprisingly, he found the people of Nineveh became believers now. It's because of Allah's guidance. From this story, we can learn about responsibility, belief, patience, and submission to Allah. Allah gave responsibility to Prophet Yunus to guide the people of Nineveh in Mosul to give them warning about the judgment day. But this responsibility wasn't that easy. It needs great effort and struggle. Allah tested Prophet Yunus salam, with obstacle. The people of Nineveh ignored Prophet Yunus. This situation made Prophet Yunus forget the responsibility and left it. Then Allah gave him reminder. Allah sent the horrible storm as a reminder of submission, a reminder of patience. We as a slave must submit to Allah as he must know of everything. A proverb says, man proposes but God disposes. In this story, although Prophet Yunus left the people of Nineveh and their idols, but Allah guided them to be believers. It teaches us that it isn't ourselves have the ability to change people. We just make the effort, but Allah gives the result. Therefore, don't worry about the future. Be positive thinking about it. Another lesson about belief. After struggling for some time, Prophet Yunus believed that the people of Nineveh would never change despite his struggle. Then Allah reminded Prophet Yunus that it was a wrong belief. Allah showed him at the end when Prophet Yunus sent back to Mosul to the people of Nineveh. He found the people of Nineveh became believers. It proves that Allah gives the result of our struggle and efforts. It means we shouldn't rely merely on our strength. We must remember that no power, no strength except through Allah. So if our struggle hasn't given us any result, then be patient. So that's it the story of Prophet Yunus A.S. I hope we can take lesson from it. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank <laughs> you.